Hello people of the web and YouTube, DTPK here, and welcome to Blank Dream. Anyway guys, I don't really know much about this game, other than the fact that it's a horror game based around like suicidal thoughts and ideas, so if you're really, like not necessarily triggered by them things, but you, do, you find suicide and things like that really disturbing and off-putting, just leave now, because I think this game's gonna get really, really gruesome. But yeah, with that said, this is an RPG game, so let's get to this. One well, RPG maker game, I mean. Thinking back, it was a boring life. It probably was. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse, without a doubt. Actually, are we already dead? Is that what I'm getting at? We're already dead. In fact, if I had to say I've come to hate it all, I wish my life and had never even existed. More or less. You mean... Yeah, whatever. Anyway... And so, I, Mashiro Yusi, or I'm probably butchering that, sorry, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Okay, that's probably the worst way to go. If you're gonna pick a way to go, never drown. That's like, you're losing your air slowly and it sucks, alright? Boof. Where is this? What was I just blank? Yeah, your memory got erased, didn't it? Right as the girl regained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Probably because of all that water making your brain dead, you know? But yeah, anyway guys, this is going to be probably a really long game, so I'm probably not going to beat it all in one go. And I'm not sure when I'll be able to pick this back up again in the future. I didn't really want to pick it up today, but just so many recordings gave me issues. I just wanted to do something with a story to calm me down, you know? But yeah... The mirror shows no reflection. Probably because you're dead. Oh, whoa, what was that? That was reflection. The girl sees herself in the mirror. Talk to her or leave. I'm gonna leave because I think something's actually gonna happen. Yonder this way, maybe? Nope. Damn it, I always make the wrong decisions, you know? But whatever, anyway. Boof. Hello, me. Hehehehe. <laughs> I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror, obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories, right? A lot of right going on. Don't worry, me. I don't know how to get them back. I mean, I, she probably said I do. I couldn't see it, sorry. Now look into the eyes of your reflection. That seems a little bit... I don't know if you could say gay, but whatever. Anyway, guys... Uh, what I wanted to record tonight was another horror game, so in fact, even though I didn't get to do the, the horror game I wanted to do, this is still really cool. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. And I, it doesn't look familiar to me. Anyway, like, I don't know how long I'm going to be playing this game, like I said, but it's, I'm really intrigued now. A school bag rests on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Kisomi Academy Class 1-2 Mishira Yuji. Her picture is one on the cover. Or on the cover, I mean. Anyway, it could be that we're not dead yet either, that, but that we drowned. That's a possibility. We drowned, we lost our memories, and we're like in a coma, maybe? I could see this happening. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why we gotta remember everything before we figure out the story. A familiar computer. The girl unconsciously went to power it on, but it stopped. Probably because we're in hell. A familiar dresser. The girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. Well, I'm pretty sure the computer's worth the effort. Could we get that son of a bitch on, please? I mean, if I woke up and my computer wasn't working, I'd be upset. But whatever. Anyway, the teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this was... This bear was very important to her. I'm sorry if I, like, cut off and I read the wrong thing. My microphone is just right in front of my face. And it sucks. I really need a boom arm or whatever. The girl felt an unconscious urge to sleep here. Could I go to sleep then, or am I just supposed to leave? It won't open. What am I supposed to do then? The cabinet is full of accessories. The girl felt that they all matched her taste. You know, if her taste is black clothing, then yeah, this is probably your goddamn house. 
The, clo the closet is packed with all black clothes. With frills, the girl felt that she'd like to wear the clothes like this. And am I supposed to be reading more? It looks like there's more text down below, but I keep like... As I hit enter, it just skips over it, I guess. Anyway, what am I doing? Oh, what the hell did I do? The girl got a knife. What? I was just clicking things randomly. It took me like, I don't know, five minutes to figure this out. I don't even know if I opened the bag or if I just clicked it so many times. It was like, hey, here's a knife. That was weird, and am I going to kill somebody before I kill myself? Oh, please, please don't be where I actually slice my arms open or something. Now that'd be too much, man. I mean, we've already drowned. We don't need to be cutting ourselves before this happens, you know? God damn it. A familiar dresser, the girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. What about a knife? Is that worth the effort? I'm confused. Maybe I'm supposed to cut open the teddy bear? The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that the, this bear was very important to her. Maybe you stashed something inside of it? Cut it open? Go... Like crazy, you know? Okay, now, apparently I'm supposed to have an items menu or something. So I was on the right track. I just didn't hit enough keys, I guess. I don't really know what key would be the item. Oh, was that C I hit? Okay, I, I hit X. Okay, I got it. So it's probably Z and X a game. Just like a Z and X again, just like every other game I've been doing. God, I can't talk. I'm sorry. View the items in your whatever, or save. Oh, I can load. I can't save. Okay, so we probably want to view our items. And we probably want to use our knife, right? Stab the knife into yourself. Why is this automatically the option? I mean, we killed ourselves by drowning. We didn't stab ourselves, did we? No, I don't think that's right. Can I, like, use the knife on something else? I'm gonna try that really fast. I don't think I can because I looked at the walkthrough just to figure this out and I keep pushing the wrong key. I keep pushing the wrong key, sorry. Anyway, yeah, I, like I said, I looked at the walkthrough and I didn't see anything for that, so I guess I'm supposed to just stab myself. So, ouch, I guess. I mean, why do I have to stab myself in the throat? God damn. And that was a cool effect. This is an RPG Maker game. i never seen that before. Hello, am I going to be back up with the ghost girl again in the mirror or what? The girl came too, again standing before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome back, how did it feel killing yourself in the mirror? What's with that look? You got a problem? Come on, I thought you, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Ah! Masuka Uzi, 16, I drowned myself in the lake. See, only partial, but you remember. You remembered your own name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world, and then break them. So, am I supposed to be siding with her in this whole endeavor? Am I supposed to be like, you may have chosen the right fate by killing yourself? I have a feeling this is what's going to happen. And you see how to break them, right? Just finish yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. Save the world. I'm just kidding. You get your memories, uh, and at the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all the mirrors, you'll have it all back, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just... Look, you have to break them. That's what's granting your wish entails. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part of yourself? Now find the mirrors. I have no clue what's going on right now, but it cannot be a good thing to keep killing yourself over and over just to get your goddamn memories back. I don't remember why I came to this, but I remember that strong wish I had to make it so my life never existed. Well, you're already part way there. You killed yourself, you drowned yourself. Actually, that's one and the same, sorry. Um, so... You're technically non-existing. Just as Mija regains a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. I wonder what that is. It's probably your humanity, am I right? You dark little girl, you. 
Anyway, I'm gonna save up and save up. Actually, I'm gonna save on another slot just in case. And you know what, guys? I'm actually gonna progress a little bit further in the game, even though my commentary is probably crap right now. I'm sorry if it is coming out that way. It's just a really long night and nothing recording. It's like throwing my whole mood off, you know? But damn. Who the hell is that? Where is this? Huh? Wait, are you from my class? You're wearing a school uniform too. Are you new here maybe? Whoa, I picked one heck of a moment to be here. I'm gonna trust you. Just because you look like you've gone either crazy from all this and you need somebody or something. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I'll bet you're confused. I'm Yuzo. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that at first. I can remember my name. I probably should have went with the first to second choice, I mean. You know your name. Hmm, Mashiro, is it? That's weird. It took me so long for... It took me so long for me to remember my name. Where is this? Who cares about you? God, you can be terrible. I could see this having multiple, like really evil endings to it. I might actually try the evil ending, I don't know. This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes or attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with wishes. But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some Strong wish. I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mishiro? I I don't know if I want to tell you my wish, because it's really... I mean, out, out of all the wishes I could grant myself, I could bring myself back to life, I could end world hunger, I could do anything beneficial, but no, I want to erase myself from this world. I'm just going to tell her, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Well, you remember your wish, and you know how to grant it. Hold up, Mishido. How blessed are you? Gosh, this world's not even fair in death. Well, anyway, if you are going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here. Because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. I have a really strong feeling you're going to either turn evil or I'm just going to be, like, turned into an evil spirit of some kind. Because just think about it, like... Here we are, we're the only person here out of the only other person we meet that knows how to grant our wish and, uh, you know, get your memories back. So there has to be some weird foul play thing going here, like, like maybe the demons knew she wanted to die and be erased from existence. Maybe that's the whole, like, maybe that's the whole reason why she's able to get this far now as it is because she doesn't want to be. I, I don't know guys, but I'm gonna leave today's video here. I'm sorry if I'm rambling on quite a bit. I know I could have gotten a lot farther, but I'm not even sure if this is recording right right now, and I don't want to push anything more tonight because I had so much fail. It was so it was so aggravating. But yeah, anyway guys, I really do love this game and I'm, I'm definitely gonna continue it, but for now, I'm gonna leave today's video here. DTPK signing off. Peace. I'm 90 what the hell just happened? No. No, what just happened? You took it away from me again? To go off and resurrect her, and she basically shows him the portal to the human world.